<laughs> Excellent. So, do you want to explain the um, the, the the game, the game? That, you had, that you wanted yes. to, to offer? Yes, Go ahead. I did. Go ahead. Okay. So, for the people in chat, this is going to be fun, okay? We have a spin the wheel of 100 different artists. And uh, I didn't pick these artists, by the way. I just Googled, like, top 100 most famous people, whatever, and I just copy and pasted all of that. So some of them I don't even know. Anyhow, we got these 100 people. We're going to spin the wheel, and we, we get an artist. We both get the same artist, and we both pick one single work from that artist. You, yes, you in the chat, decide who picked the better painting or, you know, the better sculpture or whatever. But we're not going to tell you who picked which work or else, you know, it'd be unfair. Excellent. Yeah, perfect. So that, that means that we can't explain our choice or justify it through, you know, I mean, we can talk about the paintings. I'm sure we could talk about them. But if we like, because like, if I justify my choice, people will know which painting I did. So, so, and the, the, I'm pretty sure they'll vote against me because they're the, they're ideologically aligned with you. So, what we can do maybe is <laughs> justify the painting. They're all capitalists. After. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well yeah, some, sometimes even more far right than that. So, <laughs> so what we'll do is, I think, yeah, we, we can pick the painting and then we can justify if if we have any justifications. I, I feel yeah, like we'll, sometimes we'll justify I, both paintings. We'll justify both of them. Excellent. We can do it after they, they, they choose, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, so also, may I may I remind you, there are yes. stakes to this. You did agree oh, that yeah. winner choosers losers pro Discord profile picture for a week. For a yeah. week. And let me yeah, tell you, I got yeah. the perfect picture plan. All right. It's yeah. perfect. I had something in mind. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I know. I know which one it's going to be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I know which one it's going to be. True. Okay, can we make a rule? We can't pick like the most famous work. Like if you get Michelangelo, we can't pick David or whatever, because then it's it's kind of boring. Wait, yeah. I just want to see George O'Keefe, Duchamp, Caravaggio, Van Gogh, Millet, Hans Holbein. Okay, okay, these 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 are not too bad. Yeah. Okay, some yeah. some I don't know though. Okay. Ready? Oh man, I'm, let's oh, go. I'm so stressed. Let's go. Yeah, you better be stressed. <laughs> if I can find some photorealism in there. And get people to click <laughs> it. Oh, that's like, uh, you know, such a smart way to show it's your choice. <laughs> okay, Ma Mondrian. Mondrian. Piet Mondrian. Mondrian. Oh, oh, no. Actually, yeah, great. Yeah, I, I already know. I already chose. I already chose. Do I want to go with that one or the other one? And I don't want to see what you picked. Because well, maybe if we pick the same thing, it's going gonna, it's gonna... to... No way you picked... Okay, there is absolutely no way you picked the same thing as me. There is actually no way. Okay. Ah, uh, it's so hard. All right, first one is this. A dusty chair. A dusty chair. And the second one is this. One of the the things I wanted to vote uh, to go for with is um is a tree. Is one of the trees cuz I feel like it's um yeah, the trees are beautiful. I, I was actually going to pick one of the trees, but I thought, you know, it, it'd be kind of cheating. Cheating? I mean, it's very beautiful, but then again, it's... I don't know. It just feels too, I guess, like classical for Mondrian. Mm. If you go Mondrian, I, you gotta be, you got to go weird. I, I, what, one of the things I like about the trees... If I went with the tree, it would be because it's it's so part of his um, it's part of his like uh, the progress, right? So one of the image, one of the you know, it's like the the branches um, intersecting with the yes, sometimes yes. with the funky colors, which you know prefigures his later compositions. All right, all right, windmill won by one vote. Damn, by one vote. Okay, guys, I was the fucking chair. Okay, I mean, I I think you could have guessed. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, can you can you justify your chair okay first off i want to say i kind of messed up okay because the dusty's chair is not a mondrian i don't think it's wow. what it's made by another guy that, what? That's what, okay that, that's what i thought i wasn't too sure about it uh, for I, some I, like, reason I, I guess i had a hallucination that this was a mondrian it's damn it's un I, yeah. it, it was, yeah. I mean, I guess it was, it was very much so inspired by his work, but 
Damn, why did I think this was a Mondrian? I must have cheater. seen it in some like magazine next to his name. It still didn't. Okay, if I had one, I was gonna give it the point anyway. So you know what? It's fine. We'll do first of five. By the way, this goes like way too fast. Yeah, no, no, of course, we're not just doing one. No, 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 of course, I want to do uh, many. It's by Garrett uh, Ritfiel. Yeah, Garrett Ritfiel. Yes. He cheated. Yes, 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 you, you, yes, yes. You, you cheater. No, when I, like, when I taught Monjian, immediately I was like, oh my god, the chair, the chair, I love the chair. Because you know, there was a time in my life where I tried to buy this exact chair, not, not exact, but like a copy from my own house, and then uh, I guess it just stuck in my head. Uh, people, people in chat feel cheated, and they feel like it cheated? should disqualify. It should disqualify you. Uh, I was gonna give him the, the point, okay, guys. I was gonna give him the point anyways, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, and the reason why I went with the uh, with the uh, with here the 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 windmill. Yeah, windmill, the windmill. It, it's because first, uh, it's also prefigurative of what he he will later do with the primary colors. There's the. Um, He's Dutch, mm -hmm. right? So there's the Dutch, the Dutch windmill, which is like you know, it's uh, it's um, it's characteristic of you know what he'll do later and in his nationality, the tradition. So it's like borrowing from the Dutch tradition and and modernizing it with you know his his characteristic style. And it's also like from an angle that's like very mon monumental. So the monumentality of the of uh, the the past traditions of his. Uh, of his forefathers, blah blah blah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're not Bro, someone about said it. you didn't justify the chair. I'm supposed to justify the entire dustage moment. <laughs> it, it's, it's <laughs> how am I supposed to justify that? That take like an entire essay to do it. <laughs> yeah, justify the chair, dude. Justify the chair. Just All do right. it. Oh, oh Umber so future. sorry, I, I clicked. I clicked. I didn't want to click it, but I clicked it. Uh, it's Umberto okay. Boccioni. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not familiar um, with the uh, futurist. Which, uh, you don't know I, him. No, I'm I, sure I, you know him. No, no, I, I know. I like. I, I've never actually made. Um, I've, I've taught. I've thought of. Um, I've thought of making a video on the futurist, and maybe eventually I will. But I never, um, never did research or proper research. You know. Damn. I might go yeah, so, kind of so basic. disadvantage pick... here. Okay, I'm not gonna pick. His most famous one, because that's unfair. That's cheating. It's the um, what, what's it called? Like unique, what, what's it called? Unique forms of continuity in space. The sculpture. Okay, you know what? I've chosen. Yeah, I've I've also chosen. Is it a chair? <laughs> it's Imagine a... I just pick. <laughs> it's a chair for every artist. <laughs> Yeah, that, that Mondrian, the first one, is kind of hard. That one's hard for me it because I, I've I've never actually uh, engaged with uh, with uh, Boccioni in my life. Oh, I I uh, had to write an essay on what was it the the city rises something yeah I think it was called the city rises yes 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 uh, I made a presentation on that way back in high school actually it's a very beautiful painting. With like a horse, or was it a bull? I forget. Like charging through the streets. It's you know, it, it has the futurism, I guess, like soul behind it. It's it's a really good painting, but it's also the most famous. So I couldn't just choose it. You got two minutes to to to, to vote. Yes, yeah, I mean, these are face. both extremely beautiful paintings. They're good. Yeah, yeah, they're they're. They're they're both really good. Uh, they, it seems like a like a landslide win so far. So far, it does. I'm not voting, by the way. Like for for the chat. Oh yeah, I it's am true. Not <laughs> cheating. <laughs> yeah. I am not cheating. <laughs> you can't vote. <laughs> I'm sure you could like check who voted, and it's not me. So the left one, left one won. It did win. Yeah, the it colorful one. Win. Who who was that? I wonder who it was, guys. It was me. It, it was, was me. Okay? Right. The street, sorry, the street enters the house. I mean, just the title alone, I think you, you can guess what it is. It's an entire riot happening in the street. I'm, and I mean, what a beautiful way to paint a riot, right? Like, it, like from afar, it looks more like a festival or, you know, something nice that's happening. And I, And the title, the street enters the house, it's about like, 
you know, politics and, you know, finally this moment has caught up to you. And, uh, you know, as much as you tried to stop it, like uh, you're like a politician or whatever, the streets finally, you know, uh, rise up, I guess. Such a Which beautiful is, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the street, uh, the streets maybe perhaps becoming political, which, you know, in that case, yeah, influences yeah. the street enters the house. I mean, yeah. what a great title, actually. Yeah, the title ma ma makes makes it right. That's that's the kind of because mine, <laughs> mine, I just took a portrait that I thought, I thought was kind of looking cool. The, <laughs> the reason why is because I was like, chat is going to love this, you know, it's so ominous. It's a, it's a self portrait. He doesn't have it eyes. Is. You put this on the left of the thumbnail, and then you write like, "Who was he on the left?" Yeah, exactly. Oh. I was like, "This is what people on YouTube fucking like." Uh, adore. They love that. Yeah, they love that shit. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna try to go with that." But no, they didn't like it. All right, all right, all right. Next artist. Oh, there's okay. there's, there's sound effects to the wheel. I didn't even know. Oh. Another yes. tal no Morisot. Morisot? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I actually talk about her a bit on the next video. Okay, you know what? I I already chose because uh, I love this one single painting. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you. Uh, wait, we both speak French, right? We should just continue the stream in French. Uh, tu pas français? Oui. Pourquoi? Comment ça? Pourquoi pas? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta learn French at some point. Thank you. People in chat hate French for some reason. It became like a meme to hate French people. I don't know why French people are hated so much. Don't put mine on the left again. Actually, you know what? Now that I say that, yeah, exactly. Mine on the left again. <laughs> why did I say that? Now it's like such a mind game. Which one is mine? You know? They'll never know. <laughs> They'll never know. All right, everyone ready? This is it. Sad thing is, she was known as like the woman, and that's it. Like, if you read yeah. articles on the impressionists. All of them feature like some throwaway line about there being a woman among them. And you can always tell they're talking about Morris. So. Yeah. But I, I feel like many people don't know uh, about Morris. So when they, when they don't, you know, if they don't know about the impression, like, of course, when you do like a, you know, research on it, there's always Morisot that comes up as the yeah. one. But yeah, yeah. Most people don't know. I first time I, I heard about Bert Bert Morisot, I, I made a video on her. I was like, "Oh, wow! There's a woman who's an impressionist." And then people were yeah, like, "Yeah, me too." I thought like it was a guy. I thought like Morisot was a man because mm -hmm. you know, in in uh, like way back then in school, all the textbooks would just say Morisot. They wouldn't say Beth. And so I just thought, okay, there's a guy named Morisot. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then you're like, "Wow!" I, I just assumed he was a guy. Yeah, I mean, this is like, I wouldn't say the first, like, really known female painter, because of course, there were very well known female painters before, but like, in the modern era, at least like, uh, after 1800s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially well, yeah, well, especially since modernity just started, right? So it's <laughs> She, wow, it's a uh, landslide. Holy. I know it's a it's a huge one, right? True, the portrait wins by nine to one. At <laughs> least nine to one. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. So, who, who did the right one? Who did the left one? Guys, okay, fuck you for making me say this. I did the left one. Okay, I chose oh. the garden. Look, okay. For for one, you don't really get to understand uh, it when you're looking at it through a, a, a live stream. Okay, this is a very tech sort of even like van gogh level overpainted thing okay you have to look at it in real life or at least like some super hd photo okay this you is guys can't understand <laughs> <laughs> i sound like some uh, audio file you have to get uh, this 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 okay no but seriously it's a lot better it, it's like um a, a rothko you know you have to look at it at real in real life 
from afar it, it looks kind of ugly okay yeah i see it i see why you chose the portrait but it's a very beautiful impressionistic <laughs> garden <laughs> so you mean you guys didn't see it in real life oh i didn't know chat was so uncultured <laughs> oh, it's the wine you don't know you don't know <laughs> And the reason why I went with this one is it's it's actually uh, it's because it was uh, actually um, present presented in Quebec uh, actually on a, in a uh, it was like the, the main poster painting of of an exhibition that was in Quebec and I really liked oh. it um, and I made a video and it wasn't the thumbnail I was a, I was a, but it was so long ago I was like I was like do I want to put it as people will know but like at the same time people in chat don't really watch my videos they've made that clear. Um, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> so I was like, I'm why do all your it. haters watch you? Just it's just haters that watch you. Yeah, it's hate watching in in chat. That's why. Well, that's why they all hate French. It's because it's my first language. Um, um. Yeah, but here, here, what, what I, I really like about about Marceau's portrait is that it's um, she didn't finish the painting. Like this is raw canvas on the top right. So it's like it's not just about you know the 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 brush strokes but it's also situating the, the 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 subject within the canvas and like kind of yeah maybe maybe it's unfinished right we we don't fucking know but at least in its <laughs> end product it's like making us uh, it's it's confronting us with the uh with the fakeness of it right huh. i get what you mean no no i understand yeah. it's like it is just a painting it's not trying to imitate real life it's trying to be just a painting i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> which, which which they were often accused of for for their you know broad brush strokes and you know just looking like impressionists were accused of not you know of making them look like paintings making their art look like paintings right and here she's yeah she's even like uh embracing the fact that you know it's on yeah, even more radical even more radical it's a very nice choice, actually. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, next next one. Uh, we, we said best out of five. Is that it? No, this... first of five. First of five points. Oh, first of five points. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So, this, so now two it's to one. Two, two to one. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Oh, I hope it's some someone I know and not an abstract painter. If we get an abstract painter, it's over. All right, good, good. Rembrandt. Oh, okay. Oh, Rembrandt. Okay. This is I, I don't do want to say the best one, but Oh yeah, you, do you a, like Rembrandt? It's good. Of course. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Who's going to say like no, no. You know what? Actually, uh... I I'm not I'm not the <laughs> it would be me. I I'm not a, like the biggest fan of of Rembrandt. I mean, I... Really? Yeah. Why? I mean, for They're me, cool. this is where, like, this is when, like, color really starts to get more, like, incorporated. Because, like, you know, you see modern art and you see, like, a touch of purple on someone's face that's just left there. And it's cool. But it started with him. I mean, this is the first guy to do it. To, you know, leave those brush strokes to, I mean, I don't want to say it's impressionistic or something like that. But it, but it, it does do texture a lot differently compared to you know the artists of his time now this is hard actually yeah yeah because if you go with like the the rembrandt face just looking at you everybody knows the rembrandt face just looking at you i always use um when i'm talking about like unknown artists i always use the same self-portrait that's like kind of in shadow and you can't see his face i love that painting so much then why did I say that? I, I should have just chosen I was going, that. I was gonna, I... I was going to go for it as well. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined it. I, <laughs> I was going to go for it. You ruined it. Damn. Okay, but like at least you're both thinking great minds think alike. You know, yeah, great yeah, minds you think alike. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to choose a, a basic one. It's, it's not so crazy. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should go extravagant. Right. All right. There you go. Oh, it's a guy me. and a can. You really, you chose a canvas. I mean, that's kind of meta.
That's kind of funny. What did you say? Did you say I, I chose a canvas? What do you mean? Yeah, the canvas chose the canvas. I mean, that's kind of fun. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, guys, I don't know which one he picked. I have no clue. Maybe he's doing the reverse psychology. <laughs> oh, it's ended. I think it ended with it ended. the giant easel winning. The, the giant easel. Okay, I'll... Uh... Yeah. You know, dementia hasn't been kind. <laughs> hasn't been kind on me. Uh, do you want to justify your painting? Yeah, okay. So this is uh, Jan 6. I mean... Just looking at it, okay, this is, to me, uh, just a great show of his, I guess, technique. Look at the, the red cloth on the right, you know, just don't even look at the guy, just look at the cloth. Look at those uh, yellow stripes, just unfinished, almost, you know, it's <clears throat> a lot more form over detail. If you did this in, in, the, in, in the 1800s, they would call this impressionistic, right? He was so ahead of the, the game, so ahead of the time. Like, it's actually crazy, but <clears throat> he, I guess, the the texture, the color, just all of it is so, hard. It, it's hard to describe, but you, you got to see it in real life. I always say this, okay, I'm saying this for the, the second time in a row now, but <laughs> a Rembrandt is extremely well known for, uh, for, for the texture. Right, so people go to museums just to see a Rembrandt up close. Just to, there are videos like I've seen videos, not even joking, of some guy on Instagram who just goes to Rembrandts and just records them from the side. He just <laughs> he loves doing it. So I just thought, I don't know, it was a good exhibition piece of his general uh, prowess, I guess. So again, if if chats only saw that painting in real life they they would have gone with, with this one yeah if you had seen it irl you would have chosen it okay and maybe if i hadn't made that canvas chose a canvas joke <laughs> <laughs> all right here why i picked it is because it's because look at him <laughs> just look at him look at the silly guy look at the silly little guy on the corner Look at look at Rembrandt being all like his little beady eyes. <laughs> he's he's kind of pitiful. He's he's yeah he's pitiful. Like but, but what I like about this is like he he's so small in the corner of the like it's a self portrait right, but it's a self portrait in where he's not putting him himself as you know as a subject. The, the subject here is arguably an easel. Yeah, the canvas right. itself. Yeah, the canvas, the easel, its size is just, you know, monumental compared to the size of 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 uh of Rembrandt who's just so small and 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 I don't know, kind of cute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he lo it looks like a like I wish he had titled it something I don't know, like David versus Goliath or something like that. You know, then then it would be I don't know, for me a lot more I guess yeah. meaningful. Yeah, yeah, it would have said something because this is just Rembrandt, the artist, in his studio. Ah, yeah, I know, I know. But, no, <laughs> I, 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 but nonetheless, you know, there's like there's a a, a a relationship between the artist and the easel here that is that is you know, there's I don't know meaningful here. That yeah, I, that yeah, I, that I really like. Is it three to one? It is three to one. Okay, you know what? A comeback is about to happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, can, okay. it can happen. You know, Listen, chat, I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. <laughs> okay. Jean Antoine Watteau. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I was yesterday thinking if we get Watteau, I know what I'm choosing. All right. There you go. <laughs> Damn, it's 50. It's. It's so even. It's a tie. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be a tie. Eight to five for the pyramid. 
Damn. <laughs> Who chose that? Hmm? Who chose that? Who chose that? Who chose that? Guys. We're with the, we're with I, the YouTuber polyamorous. It, it was me. Okay. Okay. Look, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Tell, thing, tell, tell us about it. Okay. So the funny thing about this painting is the pyramid is fucked. Okay. I mean, that's not how a pyramid looks at all. Watto never went to Egypt. He, he never was there. He never saw this happen. So some guy just told him what pyramids looked like. <laughs> and he tried to paint them. But look at that thing. It's all like curvy and goofy. I mean, it's such a bad pyramid. But I, I love that. I love how like badly drawn it is. And you, if you look, if you zoom in, you can see like dust coming off the pyramid. Because there were tails. Now, this is not confirmed, okay? But there were tales that Napoleon fired cannonballs into the um, pyramids themselves. And Watto even, you know, painted that. But, I mean, this whole thing is fake. It didn't look like this. <laughs> the pyramid didn't look like this. It's, it's, it's such a bad painting, in my opinion. I mean, I, like I say, it's all about intent. And if his intent was to paint, like, a realistic scene of Napoleon, this is a horrifically bad painting. But it's just so funny to me. I had to pick it. People in chat are, are angry that the, the the painting with the French flag is the one that 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 won. Damn, true. <laughs> uh, I, I I picked I picked this one. I thought it was perhaps one of the most interesting because of the subject matter, mostly, um, especially for that time. And one of the one of the uh, interesting, most interesting thing is like the black mask that this lady is this i don't know if she's a lady uh she holds in her hand i feel like there's uh <laughs> there's definitely commentary i'm sure if we made maybe some some um like why are they all holding a, a black baby you know what's the uh what's the, the 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 context here is there is there a reason for that is there was Watto trying to make a commentary out of it because it couldn't have been random not in like yeah. Like, if that was a painting made today, people would find that controversial in France. Yeah, mostly. people would say, like, oh, it's, it's you know, slavery or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So imagine the seven, like, what, what, what it was six, 18th century, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think, I think there's something that's, 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 uh, that's, it's that's, that It's sneaky political. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. I can't believe they would make painting political, but here, yeah, it is. But it's like, it, it makes me want to learn more about it. What so the I, hell? They, they added a POC character to, to a Watto? I, I can't believe Can you believe it? Oh my it? God. They made Watto political. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the wokes, they, they're trying to change our paintings now. Okay. Hold on. It's three to two? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It okay, is. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 going well. It's going well. You're you're you're, you're catching back up. I'm hanging sneaky. on. I'm hanging on. God, please let it be someone I know. I'm so glad we got Watto though. Max Ernst. Oh, the um, surrealist. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I picked. I picked. I already picked. I also picked. I hope we don't. We didn't pick the, the same one. No. Wait, is it his most famous? It's not. Okay, it's not. It's not. Oh, man. I, What's wait, his most I famous? forgot the name. What's his most the famous? The most famous? Thing? I guess it'd be... Um, damn, actually, I don't know. Maybe the, like... um, the yeah. uh, Emperor? Okay, I DM'd it to you. Hey, did uh, we pick the same thing? Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah. We did? Uh, yeah yeah we did okay so can we can oh, we no. can we cancel that one the repick oh no yeah, we, this is my we, favorite okay we pick again god damn it i'm not surprised though because this is the best it's just it's uh the subject of my next video on sunday it's that one really i was kind of excited to to show it yeah oh, I, I was I like hoping it would in, win so i can say <laughs> <laughs> i guess we, we can't pick that one damn, i'll show it after sorry, but... <laughs> you know what? I'm, this might make you mad. It's gonna make me mad. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I found um, like engravings. I think. Oh, these are kind of cool. So now, if you pick an engraving, people are gonna think it's you. Yeah. No, I. I okay. You're, you're confident with your I choice. Didn't, 
I didn't pick an engraving because if you did now, I don't want to reveal that you did. But yeah. no, I, I did I, not pick an engraving, you guys. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Okay. Well, I'm not picking one because. All right, I DM it to for... you. I... You still I'm sorry. Looking? I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? I I'm switching my choice, guys. I'm I'm cheating. I'm cheating again. Yep, cheating again. <laughs> Doesn't even again. pick a Magritte. So not Magritte. Oh my God, Mondrian. Okay, so you, are you sending it to me? I, I found mine. Yes. I'm pretty confident with mine. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We're gonna Wait. Color, color, and black and white. Okay. No. I was gonna say something, but I can't, because it would reveal something, anything. I can't say. <laughs> Ever since that canvas picked the canvas, I haven't been the same person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay okay so the painting at least i want to say the name was the triumph of surrealism the um dragon i mean it's not a dragon it's a lizard creature but it's so it's such a good painting it was made Artists after also, the, yeah. the 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 after the uh spanish civil war I, I don't know if you if you knew about it or if you made a bit of research about it or I mean, I um, I was looking into surrealists, and then uh, I decided like that was the uh, I guess like flagship surrealist painting. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's so good. The se like the second I heard Ernst, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick this. I I'm the same. It's very funny that we did it twice. Like we picked the same thing twice. That's very funny. <laughs> It was gonna happen though. Like some some paintings are just so. When when you said, "Oh, is that yeah. his most fa his most famous?" I was like, "I hope it's not Triumph of Surrealism because that's the one I want to really show." Oh, okay, so yeah, black and white, black and white is the one uh, people went. You with. chose yes, and but, I, I was I gonna think. say it is an engraving. No, am I, I know, crazy? I know because I you said because okay, I hold on. you played such you said, a mind game there. Yeah, exactly because you said it's not a, a, an engraving. I was like, oh shit. Like, if I pick an engraving, people are going to know it's me. So I said, oh, I won't pick one either. <laughs> I was playing, I was playing my games. And then, and then it was a, an engraving. People were like, oh, well, I imagine yeah, people didn't I, know. The second I saw it, I was going to say, what, why did you do that? But I then, know you were going to say that. I I like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually just saw this and I thought, I, I have no idea what yeah. the backstory is. It was for a book that I know of. That's what oh. I know of. Yeah, he has some really cool engravings. Like you, you guys should check them out if you, in chat. Like just search up Max Ernst, go to um Vicky Art, and there are so many you did for this book. Very beautiful art. Exactly. What, what about yours? What what what's yours about? Okay, literally, I just uh first. Okay, the first one I sent was what was it before I uh, changed the Angel of the Home. No, the Angel of Heart and Home. Okay, I picked that just like uh, as a joke because it looks extremely similar to the uh, triumph of surrealism. But I saw this and I, I was like, damn, it's very pretty. And I just picked it. I'm not too different from, me, <laughs> from your thought process. Oh, it looks a lot. Yeah, you're right. It looks a lot like, uh, it does look a lot like. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not as strong. It, no, of course. Not... I mean, look, look at the right and then look at the left. I mean, yeah, yeah uh, the triumph. Let me show you the triumph of surrealism to people. Look at that. Imagine an alternate timeline when I picked that, you guys. <laughs> now it's four to two. But, um... All right, this could be the last round. It could, it could, but it won't. It won't? Okay, okay. It won't. Depends. It won't. It won't. Please be someone good. <sighs> Uh, Roger van der Weyden. Oh no, I, is it someone I don't know? I don't know who that is. I, I, I maybe oh, you do. No. Do you? I don't think so. Let me, let me see. Is this the guy who painted like oceans? Nope. Right. Oh no, we got, we got some 15th century, just basic Renaissance. How did this guy get into the top 100 most famous artists? There, there's some, there's a. Uh, there's some interesting things in there, I think. Oh, okay. You know what? I, I chose. I already chose. Yeah, you already chose, eh? Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I think I, I picked more, one of mine as well. It's the first one I, I saw, and watch us it be the, being the same. I hope not. I hope no. not. No, it's, it's not. Uh, no. Oh, thank God. Both, both religious paintings, but at the same time, that doesn't mean much because all his paintings seem religious. Yeah. Guys, you gotta telepathically <laughs> understand which one I chose, okay? It's a painting. It can't end like this. <laughs> it's just gonna be a chair. <laughs> I mean, this was the most like basic artist you could get, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of 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 uh, anything that's uh, middle age. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's all the same. Every painting yeah. looks the same. I don't know, like, what happened to? I guess, like, in in this era, there is really no clear cut like movement. W what will we like talk about? Like, let's say a hundred years from now, you know, what will, will there even be such thing as an art movement? I think at this point, people cannot be influenced by others, like to, to the extent of painting in the same style. Yeah. Well, well, I think one of the big reasons why there's no art movements and the art yeah, world is okay. too fractured. Yes. Okay. Someone said the art world is too fractured. fractured. I agree. I don't think a co you know, a collective moment will ever happen again. One of the reasons why I, I believe there might not be any like art movements either is because, um, maybe I'm wrong and please correct me or disagree with me if I'm wrong, but I believe that often art movements came from some kind of authority that was either, yeah. uh, like, uh, collectioners, uh, art, like gallerists, museum curators, or just, you know, art historians and that authority uh, traditionally has always been pretty uh, organized or like, you know, influential art critics as well. But today, I feel like that that authority mm -hmm. that used to decide which artist is the influential one and which one you should emulate or try to copy to be to be, you know, to be uh, successful or, you know, this is the new trendy thing. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. there's nobody, to, I agree. you know, nobody has the credibility anymore. Or has that kind of influence, which you know some people used to, like, you, know, you know, Clement Greenberg. And yeah, like, up until like Guggenheim. Baroque, art was just you know like trying to get more and more real, more and more real. So you know we say there were movements, but it was more like periods of you know how realistic people could paint. And then like at Baroque, at you know Caravaggio and stuff, it finally starts to diverge and actually have a you know a style i guess but even then it was controlled by you know super ultra elite rich people who were like paint can you paint one in caravaggio style for me and then yes. you know everyone starts painting the same thing it, you know happened with man and resume as well everyone was like paint me a michelangelo and then every artist starts painting you know half nude muscular men in like weird positions it, it's very interesting yeah, oh, it, it, is it over? Yeah, it, it's, it's over. over. Everything's over. Actually. It's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm surprised you went with this painting. Honestly, can you? Can I you, love can architecture, you... so you know, I I, uh... I I saw it and I was like, oh my god, the building is so pretty. But I guess it was the architect in me who lost to the painter. <laughs> Yeah, I went with that one because one of the things I really liked about um about our uh, about our this artist. What's his name again? Wanda Raven. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah, Wanda Raven. How uh, the red becomes a, a very often a backdrop. Uh, I have to find. Was it on Wikipedia? I mean, the contrast is insane. Like the green floor, yeah. red. Like it's so apparent that it kind of looks amateurish. I don't want to say that because I'm I'm sure it was wow. a good artist, but. <laughs> come on like this this is some kid learning about contrast for the first time i'm gonna paint the ground green and the wall red wow yeah but there's there's, there's something like, same very, thing like, he did the same thing here. yeah look at that yeah 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 it's, it's something that, that you see often it's like it's I, I saw it more than once but i find i find that there's all right you can call it amateurish but i call it i call it like some kind of there's like a a graphic design kind of element to it right <laughs> like a, like a simplicity with I mean, the red I, I see what you mean, but it's, it's like kind of like well. super basic. 
Ah. Uh, he's calling my painting super basic. He's calling no, my no, choice no. super basic. <laughs> the choice is basic. The, the technique is. I mean, when you do contrast with color, you're supposed to like do it, I guess, a little more sub subtly. Here, it's so, you know, apparent. Like here, it, it's a lot more subdued. It's, <laughs> I would say, a, a better. But the baby looks what the fuck happened to that baby? Why do you think I have a red curtain in the back? This is this is <laughs> this is literally me. <laughs> I I am a, a Roger van der Weyden uh, painting. Damn. All right. <laughs> this, this was all like, uh, you know, a build so, up to this moment. So yeah, you're gonna pick one. my Discord profile picture for a week. Yeah. Hold on, let me find oh. it. You know what? It's not that bad. Because it's going to can be... I, yeah. Can I, before you show mine, can I tell you what I was going to choose for yeah. you? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Uh, the don't tread on me, snake. Okay, <laughs> that, that would have been funny. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's kind of funny. That would have been funny. But I'm sorry. Uh, I guess... What's it going to be? Oh, yeah. come on. I hope it doesn't say something like subscribe to the canvas or like I lost to the canvas. <laughs> that, no, that'd no. be kind of funny. No, no, no. I, I, I wouldn't do that. So it's actually a self portrait of me. It's and not self portrait. You? It's, it's, it's going to be a portrait of me, but um, maybe people in chat know what. <laughs> <laughs> i don't oh, know what's no. okay this is gonna be it i'm scared how 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 bad is it be honest how bad is it? it's not bad so <laughs> I, I i i don't know for how long you, you you've you know you've followed my channel but i used to have very long hair and i and i very okay. recently shaved it now it's, it's kind of getting yes, long i did see you shaved i did see your hair shaved i mean when i shaved it I was I was um I was compared to someone in ch in chat oh, by no. my by my by my very own partner and uh I was told that I looked like this guy and because of that I want this guy to be your uh I haven't seen it yet wait and if people ask about it I haven't seen wait, I'm it not going to show the on stream, stream. the stream okay. Wait, you sent it to me on DMs? I'm going to send it, I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna send it to you in DMs and then I'm going to show it on, on, on stream. Why are people reading. saying no in chat? Oh, <laughs> no. Why are y'all saying no? <laughs> Here, this is me. <laughs> it. This is This is me with, with a shaved head. <laughs> <laughs> I had seen this uh, comparison to you actually, like live. <laughs> oh, you had okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was watching you, and you you uh, pulled up this image. <laughs> so now it's gotta be that one. If people ask, you just gotta answer. This is this is the canvas, canvas yep. face reveal. This is the canvas. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right okay. thank you, thank you for uh, thank you thank for coming. You. And uh, yeah, next time, we'll, maybe maybe we'll, we'll we'll do another one before your next video, so we can have a second round hopefully. in your, yeah. in that one video. We can have two rounds. And yeah, also, yeah, you hopefully. probably don't you don't want to get you don't want to make a video where you get humiliated the way you you have in this <laughs> uh, in this game, right? It's it's gonna be like Rocky, like I I lose but I get up. You need, it's an yeah, inspirational you... story. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Yeah. Goodbye. Right, goodbye. goodbye, Sean.